This case was about whether or not it was fair for the Bank of America to reorder transactions for the sole purpose of creating overdrafts to generate excessive overdraft fees. Instead of taking customers' transactions in the naturally occurring chronological order, Bank of America would reorder them high to low. The mathematical consequence was to create more chances that subsequent transactions would overdraft the account. The less money in the account and the faster that money is drained from the account, the more overdraft fees you'll incur. With a class as large as almost 13 million customers, the people affected were purely a cross-section of this country. The challenges were formidable. We prevailed on the theory that a bank and its customers have an agreement and that agreement must be exercised in good faith and banks often use their superior bargaining position, their superior position in the marketplace to exploit their relationship with their customers and that's what we demonstrated here. Rarely does litigation offer an opportunity for industry-wide reform but we've been able to redirect the relationship between bank and its customer and that's very gratifying.